This is going to be the real interesting area. We are going to talk about the electromagnetic induction and the alternative current. So welcome to GTAC Techno Solutions Private Limited. This is the index we are going to see. The first one is electromagnetic induction and alternative current. Magnetic flux induced EMF on current, electromagnetic induction. Under that we are going to see about the experiments of Faraday and Henry law. And further we are going to talk about the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. The Faraday's first law and second law. Followed by Lin's law and Fleming's right hand rule. Let's move further. So, before talking about the electromagnetic induction, we need to talk about the history. The great physicist and scientist Mr. Hans Christian Ostert in the year of 1820 demonstrated that the current carrying conductor is associated with a magnetic field. Therefore, attempts will be made by many to verify the reverse effect of producing an induced EMF by the effect of magnetic field. Here comes the great physicist Michael Faraday. He demonstrated the reverse effect of Austin experiment. So Michael Faraday explained the possibility of producing EMF across the ends of the conductor when the magnetic flux linked with the conductor changes, which is refers to as electromagnetic induction. The discovery of this phenomenon brought about a revolution in the field of power generation. You are able to see the current is passed, it's inducing something here, it's changing here. That's your magnetic flux. That's referred to as electromagnetic induction.